What is up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today we will be taking a look at some of the best young players in the game and I'll be showing you what I think your FIFA 18 stats should be like these are just my opinions I'm just a stupid Asian kid right here please do not get butt hurt if I decrease a player from your team and yeah leave a comment um, in the comment section down below on the stats you think the players should have and yeah, let's get straight into it. Also, update on the Man City career mode right now. I'm just letting the votes to get in. I'm just letting all the votes to get in because the voting is quite narrow right now. It's quite tight, it's quite close. So I'm just letting all the votes to get in right now. So we will probably start off the new season in the next couple of days. But right now, I'm just letting the votes to come in right now. The first player we will be taking a look at is Gianluigi Donnarumma and as you can see right here there's a bit of a glitch going on he is 56 years of age currently and he is retiring at the end of the season so I cannot add him to the squad report but here is his stats I've increased I've increased his diving 88 kick um, goalkeeping kicking 74 positioning 78 and handling 76 and reflexes 89 he is currently at 83 rated overall I don't think he's gonna um, he should be getting an 83 rated overall I think he should have a um, maybe 82 or maybe even 81 rated rating overall card come FIFA 18 and he is currently at 92 potential I believe he can maybe even go to 93 94 that's how good he is can you imagine his card 17 years of age, 82 rating overall goalkeeper, absolutely insane. He's been linked with a move to Man City in real life right now, but I do not think he should um, move to the BPL just yet because I think that could hinder his career. I think he should stay at Milan maybe, uh, maybe the next couple of seasons and maybe move to a bigger team um, come when he's about... 20 years of age maybe he can move to a team in the EPL but I do not think he should move to the EPL just yet because I think that could really really hurt his career our second player and maybe a slightly controversial one we have Hector Bellerin and as you can see I've actually decreased him to a 79 rated overall player due to Arsenal having a terrible season in real life they won the FA Cup sure but they finished fifth in like almost 20 years like that's absolutely terrible for them and I do think Hector Bellerin will move away from Arsenal come these um, some transfer window and maybe he should stay a 79 maybe he should go down to a 79 or maybe stay an 80 rated overall right back maybe increase his potential to a 90 potential but I don't think he deserves an upgrade to an 81 or 82 I've um, actually increased his acceleration and sprint speed which is absolutely insane and I've decreased controversial I've decreased his um, defending stats as you can see right there um, slight tackle I've decreased it um, standing tackle I've decreased it um, drastically because I've said this before on Hector Bellerin I don't think he he's going to be a right back come um, maybe four years time and maybe five years time I think he is going to be a winger um, come the upcoming seasons because I don't think he is suited for a right back position and I've actually increased his finishing and all those other stats as well so yeah controversial one but Hector Bellerin 79 rated overall player third player we have is Dali Ali and a what a upgrade he is going to have I am going to say this if EA Dog doesn't give Dali Ali an 84 or maybe even an 85 rated overall card come FIFA 18. I will be pissed because how can you not give Dali Ali an 84 or maybe even an 85, maybe an 86 rating overall card on FIFA 18? What a season this kid has had. Maybe even improve his potential. He has currently had 90. I don't think that's enough. Maybe improve that to 94. That's going to be just, just enough. As you can see right there, I've improved his ball control, dribbling, his finishing, his shooting. Let's take a look at some of his stats during the last season. Let's take a look at it. He played a total of 50 games and 22 goals for a cam. Absolutely insane. And I've watched a couple of Spurs match. He never fails to impress me. 
what a player this kid is only 20 years of age and oh my god what a card is he going to have at fifa 18 and as you can see right there i improve a lot of his stats right here as you can see Dali ali if he doesn't get a maybe an 85 rating overall card on fifa 18 i will be pissed fourth player and it is marco asensio from real madrid i improve him to an 83 rating overall player and yeah i improve a lot of his stats like crossing like finishing like dribbling and ball control absolutely insane and yeah he's a more of a creation type of player he creates chances for the team and he scored about um, nine goals in 37 matches not bad for your first season at Real Madrid so yeah Marco Asensio 83 rating overall player fifth player in the team right here and how can we not have the English wonder kid Marcus Rashford right here 79 rating overall player what upgrade in his overall stats right there and Max have been saying he has a bad second season what are you talking about this is only his second season and he played 53 matches scored 11 goals that's not too bad for an 80 year old striker in the English Premier League do remember that English Premier League right there and yeah, I have improved some of his stats, his dribbling stats, his um, finishing stats, his pace, his pace. I've increased it to a 92 and 92 respectively right there. And yeah, what a player is he going to be in on FIFA 18? And yeah, guys, give him a break. He's only 18 years of age. Six and final player in the team we do have. How can we not have? It's Kylian Mbappe Lotzen, 81 rating overall. I've upgraded two from him right here 18 years of age he has a potential of 92 currently maybe bump that out to 95 ea that's going to be enough for this kid this kid is so good i haven't watched much um league uh competition this year but seriously go check out some of his highlights on youtube because he dribbles through defenders like it's nothing that's probably why i gave him such a big upgrade in his dribbling and ball control and his finishing stats all right here he won the league with monaco in front of course he was named um league uh, young player of the year he was named in the league uh, team of the year absolutely insane and he played 44 matches scored 26 goals 18 year old 18 years of age remember that correctly um in the league uh he was the joint fifth highest goal scoring player in the league right there only Batafemi Gomez, Radamel Falcao, Lacazette and Edison Cavani outscored him and he also he's also a provider as well he was seventh in the top assist only players like Morgan Sanson, Thomas Lamar and Bernardo Silva who has joined Man City of course out assist him in the league he's not only a goal scorer he is a provider as well and in the Champions League 18 years of age remember this correctly joint six highest goal scorer in Champions League only pure America Aubameyang Robert Lewandowski Edison Cavani Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi top elite players only these players outscored him he outscored Antoine Griezmann as well as Sergio Aguero, as well as Drews Mertens, Falcao Benzema, and Higuain as well. What a player he is. And yeah guys, this is going to do it for today's video. Something a bit different. I've been trying different things for the past couple of days on the channel. Just bored at FIFA at the moment. So trying something new out on the channel. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And yeah, this is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all so much. Peace.